Hello everyone, today I'll be going over how to do a basic merge using Power Query. This type of automation is best used for repetitive tasks. For example, let's say you get a new sales table every month, represented by the table to my right. You need to bring in the city and state for each region, but it's stored in a different table towards my left. In order to accomplish this, you need to write a VLOOKUP to bring in the city and state to the table on the right. This is normally a repetitive task that can be automated using Power Query. The closest thing to a merge in Power Query is VLOOKUP, but a merge is much more powerful. The goal here is to use Power Query to transform the data in order to bring in the city and state values into the sales table. Typically, in Excel, you would need to write a formula to do a VLOOKUP to the other worksheet in order to bring in the city and state from the table on the left. But with Power Query, all of the work is done once, and with a click of a button, you get the same results. But let's pretend you get a ton of tables every week, and you need to do a VLOOKUP on multiple sales tables. This becomes tedious really quickly. This is where Power Query comes in. Let's go through this tutorial. Let's begin by setting up the reference tables. I'll begin by setting up two folders. One folder for the sales table and one for the regional table. I'll delete the VLOOKUP references I made previously. I created a brand new workbook called Lesson 1 where I'll be performing the data transformation. First, I go to the Data tab, then select Get Data from File and from the folder. I choose the folder where I'll be bringing in my files. I click on Combine and Transform Data. And then you bring in the Sales table and select OK. The sales table is now brought in, but I'll delete it for now. On the right, you can see the master sales table is stored as a connection only. The next step is to bring in the other table stored in a different folder. I use a folder lookup instead of referencing a specific file name because the file name can be changed periodically and you don't want to have to rename the file each time because the code was set up to look for a specific file name. So after the connections are set up, I can work with the data. Right click and edit on the sales table. You can see both tables under other queries. I need to clean up the data a bit before I can merge them. The headers on the regional table needs to be promoted via the use first row as headers. What we need to do is merge the column called region to the other table. On the home tab, you can click on Merge Queries. What a merge does is joining two tables based on the specific columns they have in common. It's similar to the concept of VLOOKUP. On the master sales table, we choose the region column. You pick the regional table to merge to and select the regional column. Once you've selected both, on the bottom, it shows you how many matches are found. 43 out of 43 means every row found a reference. As you can see, there are different types of joins, left outer, right outer, full outer, etc. The VLOOKUP function is a left outer join and is most commonly used. I'm not going to go into depth on when to use the other different joins, but for the purposes of this demo, we'll be using the left outer join. The table has been brought in, but you need to expand the table in order to see the columns from the second table. 
I normally uncheck this box so I can use the original header names. If you leave all the columns selected, you will bring in all of the different columns. It's best practice to bring in only the columns you need. Since I already know what region they came from, I don't need the file name. Let's redo this step by excluding the first two columns. So I delete the previous step that was generated. And then I go back and I go to expand, uncheck the columns I don't need. And then here we have it. After the merge, click on close and load. Because previously we set these up as connections only, we will now need to load the data into the worksheet. On the right hand panel, you click on the sales table and then you select load to. Previously it was selected as only create a connection, but now you want to create it as a table and we can produce it in this existing worksheet. And now, all of the transformed data is now populated into this worksheet as a table. You might be asking, why should I do this? VLOOKUP is much easier. Well, let's imagine you had 10 files you needed to do VLOOKUPs on. Normally, you need to manually do the VLOOKUP across 10 files, and that's a lot of copy and pasting. With this method, all you need to do is drop the sales table into the folder we set up and then hit the refresh button. For example, I have two more tables I need to bring in city and states for. I drop all the files into the folder I've previously set up and then I simply hit the refresh all button on the data tab. What this does is utilize the existing logic and refreshes the query with the latest data source. Originally, this table had one file with 43 rows, but after the refresh, we have now 215 rows across three different files. Now let's imagine you had to do this multiple lookups across multiple tables. All of the work is done up front, and with one click, all of the work is now fully automated. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like, share, and subscribe. I'll be going over more basic and advanced Power Query features in future videos.